Hey guys, today we're going to be creating uh, bubble letters and using warm and cool colors. Uh, go ahead and start creating a block letter. I'm using an H, which is the first letter of my first name. You can use any letter that you want to. Um, block letters or bubble letters, either one. Then you're going to draw a wavy line. Just cut it across the paper any direction. And you can do more than one wavy line. Next, we're going to do a zigzag line. Um, I'm doing two here. You can do two. You can do just one. Um, and I, again, I'm drawing them side to side, but you can draw them really in any direction. We're just crossing the paper with different lines here to create some really neat and new shapes um, inside of the letter as well as outside of the letter. So I have a couple of swirl lines here that I'm doing, curly Q lines, whatever you want to call them. Um, just having a lot a little bit of fun creating a whole bunch of different shapes uh, diagonal line let's see I think I'm doing a regular wave line that looks like a cursive letter C um, as well um, but you just want to split your paper up into a lot of different spaces um, because we're going to be coloring in the shapes that we're making um, where these lines cross and intersect each other. So I have a castle line in here, some curved lines, I'm doing another castle line. Um, let's see, just a few more lines here. Almost done. Yeah, wavy line right there. George wanted to sit with me while I did this. So we're sitting in the Lazy Boy together. You can see her in the background there. All right, so we're gonna be using crayons and I'm going to be using colors from the color wheel. Um, the colors I'm gonna be using first are cool colors. Our cool colors are purple, blue, green. Now in your crayon box, you're probably gonna have more than just those three as you can see here, I have six. I have a yellow, I have a yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue, violet, and blue, violet, or purple and indigo. Um, depends on your crayon box, how they're labeled. And all of the shapes that are inside of the letter H, I'm going to color in with these six different shades of green, blue, and purple. This is all of this area, the area inside of the letter is going to be colored in with cool colors. So those different shades of blue, purple, and green are all gonna be inside that H shape there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop and keep coloring um, and you can watch while I'm doing the coloring. I will start talking again once we get to the area around the H, the outside area, um, to talk to you about what we're doing there.
We're finishing up the last few spots here and moving on to warm colors. Our warm colors are orange, yellow, and red. Now you see I have a pink crayon there as well. Pink is uh, the color you get when you mix red and white together. Um, so you can use pink in this section if you want to. You can use red orange, I have that as well. I don't have a dandelion, which is a yellow orange, um, just the yellow and the orange and um, red, orange, and red. Um, and I have the pink too that I'm using. As you can see, I'm not actually putting the same colors side by side. Um, you can see here with the red that I'm doing, the corners might touch, but they're, the, the red isn't going to be next to another shape that I colored in red. Um, and I did that on purpose because I want to be able to see all of the different shapes that we created by crisscrossing all of those different types of lines throughout the paper. Um, so I'm coloring everything in very neatly and doing that background in those warm colors really makes my letter H start to pop up off of that paper as you can see. Um, so when you finish this, um, and if it takes you more than a day, that's fine. Take your time. I want it to be fun. I want you to enjoy it. Work on it a little, walk away, come back and work on it a little bit more. Take a picture of it and send it to me. I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with.